Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to import Google Slides into Figma automatically using the Pitch Deck Figma plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon, and if you search for Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the Pitch Deck item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on the save icon to save it to your plugins list. So I've already clicked on the save icon, so I'm just gonna to go to my canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on the pitch deck item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So once the plugin loads up, you're gonna get this empty state of the plugin because we don't have any slides in our current Figma file, uh, which is fine. So normally you would probably just go ahead and start adding some slides or designing your own frames. But today we're gonna to be importing some slides that we've already designed from Google Slides. So you can see here, I've got a few different slide decks in my Google Slides account. And what we're gonna do is import each of these into Figma automatically using the plugin. So the way that we need to do that is by giving it a PPTX file. So you can see here, we can import a PPTX file directly into Figma from our computer. So the way to do that from Google Slides is just to go to your Google Slides file, go to the file tab at the top, then go down to the download menu down here and you wanna click on the Microsoft PowerPoint PPTX link. So go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna automatically download your Google Slides to a PPTX file. So I've got that downloaded on my computer. So I'm just gonna to go to my desktop. I'm gonna to go to this recipe book.pptx file that we saved from Google Slides. And we're basically gonna drag and drop that into this little drop zone over here. So I'm gonna grab that PPTX file from my computer drop it directly into this little drop zone area here in Figma. And that's gonna read the file and start importing the slides into Figma. So you can see here that it's just gone ahead and imported all of those eight slides. So if we go to our canvas and zoom in a little bit, you can see that it's imported each of those slides from our Google Slides file over here. So you can see that these have been imported and these are in individual layers as well. So if we zoom in, uh, you can see that this is an image layer that we can actually play around with and move around. Same thing with the text layer. This is editable uh, text. So you can edit that content in Figma or move it around or add extra content to it. Uh, but that's basically gone ahead and taken all of our content from our Google Slides that we just exported to a PowerPoint file and imported that into Figma. So that's basically the, the way it works. And you'll notice that it's mostly looking really good. Uh, there's a few small quirks. So when it comes to text layers with mixed lists, so if you've got a text layer that has multiple lists, so at the moment, those are a little bit uh, wonky, as you might've noticed that this feature is still in beta. So you can see down here in the import PowerPoint uh, drop zone, it's got the word beta there. So it's still in beta, it's still being improved. And most of these issues will get ironed out over time. Uh, but you can see that's looking mostly pretty good. So we can do this for another deck if we wanna import another file. So we've got this yearbook Google Slides template uh, that we can import. So I've already saved that one to my desktop. So again, I'm just gonna drag and drop that PPTX file into this little drop zone here. And that's gonna load up the file and import that one as well. So you can see it's importing the slides. We get a little progress indicator there and that's almost done. So once that loads up, that's automatically gonna to switch to a brand new page in our Figma file. So you can see here, each time we import a, a PPTX file from Google Slides, we're getting a brand new page in our Figma file. So you can see this one's been imported as well. So again, all of these are editable. Uh, you can see that the text layers are editable, so we can change that content uh, as needed. And if we wanna move that around, we can move that layer around as you'd expect. Same with the images. These are all individual image layers. And again, that's looking really good. So again, we've just saved a whole bunch of time instead of having to manually recreate this file from Google Slides, uh, we're able to do that directly from uh, importing it to the plugin. And I'll just do one more to show you a larger deck. So we've got this deck here uh, that has a bunch of different slides, a couple of dozen slides. So again, we're just gonna click on the import PPTX button. You can actually just click that and browse your computer, but I'm just gonna drag and drop it because I've already got the desktop window open. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this last PPTX file from Google Slides and import that one in as well. So you can see it's importing those 21 slides into Figma. So depending on how big your deck is that you've exported from Google Slides and how many images and layers are in that uh, file, 
that's going to determine how long it takes to import the file into Figma. But overall, it should only take, you know, 30 seconds at the most for most files. So there we go. It's imported our 21 slides into Figma. And again, these are all editable, so you can edit the text. You can move these layers around uh, as you'd expect. And these are all now editable Figma layers. So again, this is still in beta. So there's going to be a bunch of things that aren't 100% right uh, that you might notice. But hopefully it's still a really good head start for now where you can just get all that content in there, get those layers in there. And if you do need to make any small tweaks, uh, hopefully that's still going to be much faster than manually recreating every single layer from scratch from your Google Slides in Figma. So this is going to give you a little bit more flexibility there as well. Uh, and of course, if you want to re-export this into a PowerPoint file for either PowerPoint, Keynote or Google Slides, you can do that clicking on the export button, changing the export format to PowerPoint, Keynote or Google Slides. And that's going to give you a PPTX file from Figma that you can then reuse in another application as well. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how to go about importing your Google Slides into Figma as individual editable layers automatically. And you can now do that by experimenting with the import PPTX uh, feature, which again is still in beta, but will be improving over time. So yeah, that's basically it. If you're interested in importing your slides from Google Slides, uh, automatically and you're still needing to use that software with your team but prefer uh, editing the content in Figma, this is hopefully going to improve your workflow speed by automating some of that process. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one.